everyone, I'm Tina DeLeo and welcome to Chef Tini's Kitchen where we make magical meals in minutes. Today we're going to be making a gemelli pasta with shredded zucchini in an Italian green sauce. So before I get started, I have my pasta water boiling behind me uh, and I'm going to just jump right into making the Italian green sauce and I'll tell you a little bit about what a green sauce is. So a green sauce is made from uh, it's not a pesto because it has no nuts and no cheese. So when I was growing up every summer, my mother would take all the herbs out of the garden towards the end of the summer and she would make this green sauce. She would take a bunch of um, parsley and basil and garlic and oil and she would blend it all up and she would put it inside of little jars and she would leave it inside of the refrigerator uh, for, I'm not sure how long they would last, and she would use it for sauces and for um, on top of vegetables. Um, and I have uh, washed and um, dried in my fancy salad spinner here some basil and parsley. And I'm just going to put that inside of here. Uh, I think it's going to be probably a few handfuls of each. So I'm just not sure how much I'm going to have my mini chopper here. So if I had my bigger Cuisinart um, food processor, I probably would put a little bit more. And you don't want to have too much, um, you want to peel off, pick off the stems, which like I'm doing. There's about half, like an even amount, an equal amount of each. Okay. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. That fresh basil. Something about basil and zucchini and tomatoes in the summer. Uh, it's just, just brings me back to my childhood and um, great memories of my mother cooking and preparing things. So, I'm going to take my olive oil. Um, I'm going to eyeball it, but it's probably going to be a good quarter cup. That might be even actually a half a cup. It's going to get a little noisy in here. Uh, I'm just going to give this a little twirl, and then I'm going to add the garlic. just want to make sure that it's fully dry. Oops. Actually, now I think that we've done that, I'm going to... You don't have to do this, but I'm just going to half the garlic, actually, just because this particular chopper gets a little finicky sometimes. And when I use my bigger chopper, I feel like the blade is a little stronger. I actually have room to add a little bit more of my, I'm going to pick off some of these stems because I don't want all the stems in there. I'm going to, oh my gosh, this really does smell so good fresh basil. Okay. All right. I have about three cloves of garlic in there. If you like more garlic, you could put more. If you like less, you can just put a few just for one or two for flavor. Okay. So this is really coming together. I'm going to add a few more bunches. So I would say I had an, um, I would say I had two whole bunches, or I should say one bunch each of the basil and the parsley. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I'm probably going to add a little bit more. I think this is actually perfect. I'm going to add, uh, oh, here's my, my, just a pinch of salt just to preserve it because, you, you know, you can keep it in the fridge for a little while. Okay. Actually, I think it needs a little bit more oil, so I'm going to give it another few tablespoons and this will be the final chop. Yeah, get in there with your, um, you know why this little guy is going to just come out because it's, I didn't take the stem off. Let's see. No, it looks pretty good. Um, I didn't make enough to fill the jar, but what you would do is you would keep pulsing and um, chopping up the basil and the parsley, and you could fill um, a, a mason jar. Um, they sell smaller jars. I think this is about a pint. Now it's probably a little smaller. Um, so uh, I hear my water is boiling, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to step over there, and I'm going to put in my pasta because... This is a no-cook sauce. That's the beauty of it, especially during summer when it's hot and you don't want to um, have too many things going on. Okay, 
So our pasta is boiling. I put um, a pound of Jamelli pasta in a pot of salted uh, boiling water. And while that cooks, I'm going to take two medium-sized zucchini and I'm basically going to just shred them into my bowl here and give them a quick saute in a pan of um, olive oil. Uh, so I'm just going to cut off the top of the zucchini and just take my cheese grater. I think I've shown, shown you guys this trick before. You can use your cheese, your cheese box grater to slice up uh, vegetables. Uh, I use it to slice up onions. You may have to do this on the angle. It's pretty quick. It also helps the vegetables cook quicker. Um, I love doing this. Uh, it's one of my favorite little kitchen tips. If you have a mandolin, you could use a mandolin. If you wanted to, you could just chop them into fine, uh, not fine, but thin circles or even matchsticks. I like that this sort of melts a little bit into the olive oil. Comes together nicely with the basil sauce the green sauce. When I was growing up, my mother would make uh, pasta with uh, string beans and ricotta cheese and that basil green sauce with the parsley and the basil. She would mix it all together and it was just unbelievably good. So this is a lightened up version of that dish um, using some summer veggies. So I'm going to keep grating this zucchini and uh, I will be right back. <clears throat> okay, so I've gone ahead and shredded two medium zucchini, and it sort of looks like this, and it's pretty fine, I'm losing one here. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, uh, probably one, two tablespoons is really all you're gonna need, and I'm gonna take it over to the stove, and I'm gonna saute it on medium heat, um, probably for about three to four minutes because you don't want this to cook too much uh, because they are so because it is so shredded uh, it'll you don't want it to you know melt too much into the sauce Ready? I'm gonna. I drained it over the over the sink, and I'm going to put it in this bowl. Okay. I'm gonna take. Uh, I'm gonna say about two dollops of the green sauce. One, two, and I'm gonna just head back to the stove and grab the zucchini, which is all done. Here we go. I'm going to put this all on top and I'm just going to give it all a good stir. I'll use both my... So the green sauce, it sort of cooks inside of the pasta. I've also saved about a cup of the cooking liquid in case it becomes too dry. That way we can always add. When you add pasta water or any kind of liquid to a dish, you should always add a little bit at a time because you can always add, but it's a lot harder. In most cases, you can't even take away. So I feel like I'm behind a cloud of smoke here because it's really hot. And the zucchini, we just cooked it for like three to four minutes and it's just al dente. Pasta is just al dente. This smells amazing. Oh my gosh. It's like basil and zucchini and parsley and garlic. You could, I'm gonna add a little bit of, I think this is pretty good. I don't think, I really don't think I need any additional pasta water, any additional liquid from the pasta water. I think it looks, it looks great. Okay, and actually I think, Gonna add one more dollop. 
of this green sauce just to give it a little bit more color and a little bit more flavor. Here goes my good old friend Parmesan cheese. Um, I'm actually allergic to Romano cheese. I'm a terrible Italian. I can't have any um, something in the Pecorino cheese which is made from the sheep I can't have. So I always cook with uh, Parmesan cheese and you can adapt any of the recipes that I use with um, Romano cheese if you want a little bit of a sharper bite to your to your dish. Okay, this is done. And to just top the dish off, I'm going to put my favorite ricotta salata, which is sort of like an Italian feta cheese. Um, it's one of my favorite cheeses. And I do this right over the top here. You could use your box grater. I have this handy little microplane. It's a little bit salty, that's salata. Um, sala is salt in Italian. It's a delicious cheese. I think that's gonna be plenty. And one more toss. And I would serve this just like this. It's really so delicious. It's so fragrant. It's full of flavor. So I'm gonna plate up our pasta here into a, a bowl. And of course, give it a try. See, you could see the cheese is all melted. And you know, if you really wanted to, you could, I'm just gonna move this pasta water out of the way. <clears throat> you could, um, you know, give it a little, just a little dollop for flavor on top, a little extra um, basil sauce. And I guess I'll find my fork here and I'll have to go ahead and give it a try. That would be, what we do here and it's just so delicious oh, my mouth is full I'm sorry the basil and the parsley they just they just cook a touch with the hot pasta water and the cheese melts and it just represents every flavor of summer um, basil and zucchini um, and it's just it's really good and I hope you'll give it a try